Hey, how's it going? Hey, good. How you doing? Uh, I've got a custom motorcycle I want you to take a look at. I got a back lot over there. You want to bring it around? Yeah, sure. All right, I'll meet you back. All right, thanks. It's no secret that I love motorcycles. Hell, I think I actually have like 13 at this point. But whether it's for me or the shop, I'm always interested in buying another one. So this is it, huh? Here it is. What can you tell me about the bike, man? It's a 2006 Thunder Cycle. It was uh, designed and built by Eddie Trotta. This is really cool. And he built this bike for the actor, James Caan. The James Caan, seriously? You know, James Caan, I mean, he's a really big actor. He's right. known for, I think, primarily his role in The Godfather. Right. He's also really funny in Elf. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Trotta is a well-known, well-respected uh, bike builder. I love the style, I love the color. I have a couple bikes, but my priorities in life have changed. I have a new wife and a new baby, and riding is just falling to the bottom of the list. What size motor is it? It's uh, an Ultima 120. He builds about 10 years, so there's only really about 250 Eddie Trotters around. I don't see them on the road. They are 100% custom bikes. And of course, we got the big ass back tire. This is his signature style. Eddie Trot is a huge name in bike building, and he's got a real distinctive style. Almost space age looking with that stretched frame and giant rear tire. So James Conn owned it? Yeah. You got any proof of that? I do. I have the old Florida title. It has his name on it, yeah. Okay. Con owned the bike for about a year, and he traded it in for another bike that he built. And I saw this in Eddie's showroom down in Fort Lauderdale. I fell in love with it. You mind me asking what'd you pay for it when you got it? In 2009, I paid 45000 for it. I think Con paid sixty, brand okay. new. OK. What are you looking to get out of it? I'd like to get uh, 22000 Let me be honest with you, man. The late 90s, 2000s, you know, there was all these motorcycle shows on TV about guys building bikes. Right. It was almost a competition of who could put the widest back tire on a motorcycle. I mean, it started off at like 180 millimeters, and then it got up to, I think, almost 400 millimeters. And it was just the style. Yeah, it says a 300. Unfortunately, man, motorcycles are like bell-bottom jeans and tie-dyed shirts. <laughs> the whole fat tire thing has gone the way of the dinosaur. Even though some choppers may be out of style, this particular bike and maker is still selling bikes today, and he's still popular, and this has his, his signature look. Let me ask a buddy of mine who will know a little bit more than me. OK, great. Thanks. Selling custom bikes can be extremely tricky, and this one happens to have a big time actor attached to it. So I'm pretty lost as far as price goes. So this is it. Built by Eddie Trotta, at one point owned by James Kahn. Looking good. Eddie Trout is an artist. By looking at certain bikes, you can kind of guess who built the bike because of their style and their feel. The rake of the neck, it's kicked out like how he usually does it. So it drops the bike down and stretches it out, elongates the bike, even down to the gas tank. He was really well known for molding it into his frame back here. So it just carries the flow of the bike. Eddie Trotta is a pretty big motorcycle builder. He's been around for years, and he's noted for the type of bikes that he builds. You can't beat Eddie Trotta's work. He's an excellent fabricator. About how many miles? It's got less than 500. Less than 500? Yeah. You mind if I hear it start up? Nah, sure. Wow, it's nice. Well, you definitely could hear the type of compression that thing has. Right. So, Chris, man, I don't know what the thing's worth. Are they selling again? Tell me about it. OK, yeah. The large, wide bikes are really out of style. What's in style now are the skinny, lane-splitting bikes, late 50s style, is what really is hitting right now. So it's almost gone in complete reverse. I mean, it, got, it was as wide as you can make the rear tire, and now it's as skinny as you can make the yeah. rear tire. How much value does the James Kong connection add? No, it wouldn't add anything to it. I mean, people that are known for motorcycles, um, actors like Marlon Brando, uh, James Dean, that's whenever it makes it more money. It's not like you're buying it and James is going to go 
meet you for lunch every Wednesday for the <laughs> rest of the only, you know, the bike. Yeah. Be all in all, Chris. What do you think it's worth? I would say 10,000 tops. Wow. wow. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bike. Right. But it's just the market, man. It's really unfair. Oh, Chris, man, I appreciate it, buddy. All right, brother. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks, uh, Chris. Take care. It was great meeting you. You too. You told me you wanted 22000 for the bike. I mean, the only way I could think of selling this bike is pulling the motor, pulling the trans, and the drivetrain out. That being said, I can get that drivetrain used for about 5000 bucks. I couldn't let it go for that. We're, we're too far apart. Yeah, we, we are, buddy. You know, hold on to it for a while. Everything that's old gets new again. Maybe in a couple of years, this will be back in style. All right? OK. Thanks Appreciate a lot. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Since we weren't able to make a deal, I'll keep the bike for now and enjoy it. And uh, I'm sure I'll find a buyer that loves a bike just as much as I do.